The Biden administration has issued broad restrictions on the technology China can buy from the U.S. NVIDIA's CFO warning that China sales will drop significantly in the fourth quarter. Semiconductors are incredibly important technology. The Biden administration is uh, trying to cap China's access to advanced AI chips. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Nishma Minhas. Last week, big news hit the tech world. And then very strangely, within hours of these news reports, they were removed. It was taken off Chinese internet and Chinese TV. Xiaomi was said to have successfully completed the tape out of its first three nanometer chipset, making it an exceptional milestone, if true. The news was made public on Beijing satellite TV by Tang Jiango, the chief economist of the Beijing Municipal Bureau of Economy and Information Technology. He referred to this event as a historical one for China. And that may be the very reason why the news was taken quickly off Chinese media. Xiaomi itself has not confirmed this either way. Xiaomi is the Chinese phone company that now also produces EV cars. In fact, it is the Xiaomi SU7 sedan car that the CEO of the leading American car manufacturer, Ford, got shipped over to Detroit and has been driving for the past six months and has said he does not want to give it up. I, I don't like talking about the competition so much, but I, I drive the no. Xiaomi. We, we flew one from Shanghai to Chicago and I've been driving it for six months now and I don't want to give it up. Right. Wow. That's... <laughs> That's an extraordinary thing to say, isn't it? Imagine, Ford CEO is saying that. And I talked about this in my last vlog, if you want to check it out. Now, tape out is the final stage of a design process of any integrated circuit before it is sent for mass production. However, there is a big jump going from this design stage to mass production. Although it said, that Xiaomi intends to do this by 2025 next year. The production of these chips is very expensive, technically challenging, and requires advanced manufacturing capacity. So it is being speculated that Xiaomi would be dependent on the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, otherwise known as TSMC. TSMC produces 90% of the world's most advanced chips. Now, whether TSMC does it for Xiaomi, a Chinese company, given its dependence on United States and Western markets, is questionable. TSMC is already under pressure from the US. Also, the other question would be, given the increasing geopolitical tensions on the Taiwan-US-China triangle, would TSMC do this? So why did this news get removed? Well, one strong possibility is they thought better of it. Releasing this information publicly may not have helped them because of everything that has been done by the United States to Huawei. Xiaomi's step forward with the three nanometer after all represents Chinese domestic semiconductor capabilities. So unsurprisingly, China's chip industry has started to operate what has been called a shroud of secrecy. I hope you will like, share and subscribe to the channel. Your engagement is key to help promote its growth. Since 2019, the US has fought to block Huawei a tech powerhouse from China, from getting its hands on the advanced microchips that power today's most cutting edge technology. The goal? To keep Huawei and China from catching up to American and cutting edge technology. From the Trump administration to Biden, the US has imposed strict sanctions aimed at stopping Huawei and later other Chinese companies in their tracks. In 2022, the United States announced its most sweeping set of export controls in decades on selling American-made or American-origin advanced technology to Chinese companies. This included chips for artificial intelligence, software to design advanced chips, and machine tools to manufacture them. President Joe Biden explained that these were to protect the American national security by stalling China's progress in critical technology like AI, advanced smartphones, and even military applications. Tariffs. You're talking about 60% tariffs on Chinese goods. Is that in the cards? Uh, no, I, I would say maybe it's going to be more than that. The Biden administration is rolling out heavy tariffs on many products entering the U.S. from China with the goal of punishing Chinese companies, encouraging more production here at home. However, despite everything, 
In April 2024, Huawei pulled off what many thought was impossible. It developed an advanced 7 nanometer chip, the Kirin 9010, for its Mate 60 Pro smartphone. This was considered a massive technological achievement, and it's caught the world's attention. This chip was produced domestically in China by Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC. Now, SMIC is also banned from receiving chips from the United States after being added to the trade restriction list in 2020, with the reason given at that time as it's alleged to have ties to the Chinese military industrial complex. Now, some key points about these chips. I want to try and keep it simple, though. First, understand how small a nanometer is. It's one billionth, B billionth of a meter. The computing power of a chip is determined by its size in nanometers, with the smaller sizes actually indicating much higher computing power. So a seven nanometer process actually represents a significant improvement over previous Chinese manufacturing technologies since it allows for many more transistors to be packed into a smaller area. And this increased density allows for better performance and energy efficiency as more processing power is packed into a smaller chip. So it helps to reduce the power consumption, helps to improve battery life in devices, Seven nanometer chips are commonly used in high speed computing, in smartphones, machine learning, anything that requires fast processing and energy efficiency. And they are essential to drive further advancements in AI. Until this point, they were only being produced by world leading companies in the field like TSMC, Samsung, and Intel. In fact, these companies are already in the process of moving on to smaller three nanometer production of chips now. TSMC, in fact, is expected to start producing two nanometer chips by 2025 next year. So how did Huawei do it? Rumors suggest that Huawei may have found a way around US sanctions. The US is now investigating TSMC for a one to see if it secretly helped Huawei with these chips, despite the restrictions on it. TSMC, one of the world's top chip manufacturers, has denied it. Huawei is also thought to have built a network of Chinese suppliers, which allow it to bypass restrictions and keep tech development moving forward. Remember, not all Chinese companies are on the sanctions list. And as long as the US government approves, American companies and others can send them stuff that is deemed to be sensitive. So the response has been that US lawmakers have said that they want even tougher sanctions. The aim? To cut Huawei off from all American-made technology for good. China has pushed back and accused the United States of overusing the national security as an excuse to justify its restrictions. For China, this is just an calculated attempt by the Americans to undermine its technological growth and independence. The United States has no intention, however, of letting China advance easily. U.S. companies like Applied Materials and Kiele have been banned from selling China the extreme ultraviolet lithography, EUV lithography machines. EUVs are an indispensable chip-making tool which fabricate smaller and more sophisticated chips. ASML, a Dutch company and a leader in this technology, has been pressurized by the United States to restrict sales of any new advanced EU tech to China, which has caused tensions between the small country Netherlands and China. ASML reported results last week, where it gave guidance to investors that it saw Chinese revenues next year onwards going down to 20% from 50% currently due to export controls. In response to American restrictions, however, China has been doubling down. It's invested billions to develop domestic solutions. In 2022, China's government ramped up a national drive, often referred to as the Information Innovation Project, Xinjiang, and I apologize for the, mis for the mispronunciation, I'm sure, that aimed to replace foreign suppliers of, among other things, semiconductor technology. Although EUV lithography machines are restricted, 
China's chip sector has proven to be resilient. Companies like Huawei and SMIC have bypassed these limitations by producing advanced chips using the older deep ultraviolet machines that they already had in stock. Weeks before the ban on China getting these new EUV machines went into place, ASML saw that Chinese company imports surged by over 450% as local chip makers raced to buy the advanced kit machines that they had. Whilst this success shows that China can still make significant strides even without the latest technology, the reality is, however, that China's limited access to advanced lithography equipment will pose a significant obstacle and is definitely hampering and delaying Chinese technological progress and the speed at which this is happening. In December 2023, a major shareholder in SMEE a chi- one of the China's major companies working on lithography posted on social media that the company had successfully produced 28 nanometer chips. However, this post was quickly deleted. If the claim was accurate, SMCE would still be far behind ASML, whose most advanced machines can produce 3 nanometer chips. The way the United States sees it, this technical technology Competition isn't just about one company or two countries. It's about who will control the global semiconductor supply chain, the brain of every digital device that we use today. If China becomes the leader in this technology, it would reconfigure global supply lines, impacting everything from consumer electronics to military security. Huawei's recent 7 nanometer chip was a clear sign that China, however, isn't slowing down. The achievement is considered a major leap forward. SMIC achieved in 7 nanometers in two years from previously when it produced the conventional 14 nanometers, and it did so without access to foreign technology. In contrast, it took TSMC and Samsung three to five years to reach the same level, having the access to the global chip supply chain And SMIC also had to resort to less efficient deep ultraviolet lithography systems from ASML, which were acquired before the US export controls took effect. Huawei is now rumored to be close to producing five nanometer chips in collaboration with SMIC. These advanced chips designed for AI applications are reportedly being utilized by major players in the Chinese market, including Baidu, the local search engine giant and creator of Ernie, which is China's response to ChatGPT. Similar to NVIDIA, America's leader in AI, Huawei has also developed its proprietary software platform, CAN, C-A-N-N, which assists developers in utilizing its chips to build AI models. This accomplishment aligns with China's larger strategy to become self-sufficient in chip production which has been backed by a $40 billion investment in the semiconductor industries race uh, in China for moving towards these 3 nanometer chips. With the recent Xiaomi news, it's clear that the battleground has moved to the next generation 3 nanometer chips. The United States, which sees China's semiconductor progress as a major threat to national security, Advanced chips like 3 nanometer are essential for military, AI, and cybersecurity technology. And if China gains this capability, how the United States sees it, it could alter the global balance in military and intelligence power. Beyond defense, however, there is a geopolitical aspect as well to this. The United States seeks to maintain dominance over the semiconductor market as these chips form the backbone of modern technology and economic power. Remember John Mersheimer? The United States definitely has to contain China. And if the United States could slow down China's ability to develop sophisticated technologies, it should do that. I mean, what you want to think about here is that you have a security competition taking place between the United States and China. It's an intense security competition. It has a military dimension, but it also has an economic dimension. And that economic dimension mainly involves sophisticated technologies. China's rise could disrupt this balance, challenging the United States' influence in global uh, technology industries and supply chains. 
But who was most responsible for creating this scenario? The United States. By banning Chinese access from US technology, it created a need and a desire in China for self-sufficiency. Most Chinese companies did not want to use local companies who had less advanced capabilities than many American companies did for a long time, until they were forced to do so. In the process, the United States has also destroyed many US American companies dependent on the Chinese market, Intel being one major name. It's lost billions in values, revenues, and thousands of jobs. This week, it was kicked out of the Dow Jones Industrial Average as well. US foreign policy has destroyed a national champion in the country. However, the United States is determined to prevent China from advancing in this technological race, and it sees the future of global leadership hanging in the balance. The question remains, will the United States maintain its technological lead, or will China's progress in semiconductor manufacturing shift the global power structure? Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Let's discuss this. Thank you for giving me your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do share and subscribe to the channel.